Good morning, fifth and sixth graders. So today we are going to continue finding the evidence and writing a complete op answer for an open-ended question. Um, the answers being including complete sentences. So today we're going to read about um, balloon release for fundraisers and such. So let's go. Okay. Balloons, beauty or pollution? In a local community in Southern Florida, a group of people have gathered to remember and pay tribute to those who have lost their lives to cancer. It's a beautiful day and donations are coming in from everyone attending. With each donation to cancer research, participants can choose a balloon that matches the cancer ribbon of their choice. Some choose pink for breast cancer, orange for leukemia, or gold for childhood cancers. In total, they've raised over 10,000 to be given to cancer research at a local university. At noon, the entire group comes together to have a moment of silence and release their balloons. It's a beautiful sight, every color of the rainbow rising in the sky. The magnificence of the balloon release is captured in pictures for newspapers as well as videoed for the evening news. Throughout the next week, donations continue to roll in, increasing their total to over $15,000. A few months later, however, when, balloon, when the balloon re release is only a memory, deflated balloons lay in fields, on beaches, and in oceans thousands of miles away from southern Florida. How is it possible that something so beautiful one day can end up as trash thousands of miles away? A group of environmental researchers in New Jersey report that they have seen an increase in balloon debris over the last 10 years. As balloon launches have grown in popularity to raise awareness for clubs, organizations, or memorials, the amount of litter caused by balloons has tripled. This litter has been especially harmful to, hum to small animals like birds and turtles. They often confuse the litter with food or become strangled by the balloon strings. People release balloons for all sorts of occasions to create beauty, or raise awareness, or to collect donations. Is it worth the pollution in animals losing their lives? So that's the story. Um, so the question then is, should balloons be, should balloon releases be allowed? So either yes, balloon releases should be allowed or no balloon releases should not be allowed. So for yes, we're gonna go back into the story and find some evidence that supports that yes, balloon releases should be allowed, they're a good idea. So, um, let's see. The big reason for yes would be that it, the donations. Um, so with each donation to cancer research, participants can choose a balloon that matches the cancer ribbon of their choice. I'm going to go ahead and use that. Um, in total, they've raised over $10,000 to be given to cancer research. That's, I mean, that is a huge plus. Um, the, okay, so then the next paragraph talks about them releasing their balloons. It's a beautiful sight. The magnificence of the balloon release is captured. And then so because of that their total was increased to over fifteen thousand dollars okay so those are the reasons that yes it should be so then let's go back here yes it's a beautiful sight every color raising in the rainbow raising in the sky they've raised over ten thousand dollars to be given to cancer research okay then, so a re reasons for no, why they should not do balloon releases anymore. Um, so a few months later, however, when the balloon release is only a memory, deflated balloons land in fields, on beaches, and in oceans thousands of miles away. How is it possible that something so beautiful one day can end up as trash? I think, I mean, just right there, that's telling you that it's not, not a good sign. Um, so then here, as the balloon launches have grown in popularity, the amount of litter caused by balloons has tripled. 
the litter has been specifically harmful to small animals like birds and turtles. They, I mean, almost this entire paragraph is a reason for no. And if we go back here, deflated balloons land in fields and beaches <laughs> thousands of miles away from Florida and the litter tripling. Okay, so those are the evidence. That's the evidence, the reasons to answer yes or no for each. Um, so on your red sheet, it's up to you if you want to do yes or no, how you want to answer that question. Um, but remember, so these are the things that you're going to use to help you answer the question. Um, the sentence stems. Okay, so if you recall, you start with here. Okay, you start by answering. The question so in this case yes or no restating the question as well so in when the question is should balloon releases be allowed if you take out your answer here balloon releases shouldn't be allowed or balloon releases should be allowed it tells you exactly the question that you're answering in your answer so it's not no, because da 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 da, and I don't know what question you're answering. It tell I know exactly what the question that's being asked based on your answer. So I think no balloon releases shouldn't be allowed. Okay, so then you use a sentence stem, the evidence, another sentence stem, and the other piece of evidence. If that makes sense. So I'm going to go and I'm going to use um, the for my first sentence stem, I'm going to say, I know this because and use my first piece of evidence. Um, I'm going to use this one because this is like a straight fact. <clears throat> Because I know this because as balloon launches have grown in popularity to raise awareness, uh, the litter has tripled. Okay, and then the next sentence then that I'm going to use, I'm going to say the text also said. And my second piece of evidence. The text also said deflated balloons lay in fields on beaches and in oceans thousands of miles from southern Florida. So do right, answering an open-ended question this way takes it from should balloon releases be allowed? No. Or no because they can harm the environment. Or yes. Or yes because they're a beautiful sight in the sky. It shows you that you really read the story, the passage. You were able to find reasons to support it and it really just expands on your answer. And um, it's going to be a lot better of an answer on your FAST assessment. It's going to help you there. And on your Iowa assessments in the spring, it will really be helpful that way as well. You need to just be able to find, find reasons to help you answer the test. The question and pull those out and that's really going to help you understand and answer the question better. Okay, have a great day.